you worry about your child's exposure to chemicals in the environment? Now, the nation's leading pediatricians group has called on the federal government to do more to protect kids from chemicals. Gene Anderson has the story in today's King 5 Children's Health Link. You gonna make a long train or a short train? Rachel Kohler is particular about the toys she buys three-year-old Raya. We try to avoid PVC, which is one of the um, most toxic plastics, uh, and it can be found in building materials or commonly toys. To cut down on chemicals found in dust, the family installed hardwood floors. Shoes come off at the door. Raya's outdoor play area was even tested for lead, which was confirmed in the soil. We um, actually removed, you know, the, kind of the top layer of that soil and brought in compost. Rhea has never shown any health effects from chemicals. Still, the precautions are not overkill. That's according to environmental health researcher Dr. Sheila Sathya Naraina. We estimate that there's probably 80,000 chemicals that have been introduced into our environment um, that we truly don't have testing on. She says while answers may be years away, chemicals are suspected in rising rates of everything from ADHD to obesity to cancer. There may be major environmental contributions to these disease processes. She said today protecting kids from untested chemicals has mainly fallen to individual states and parents. It is a lot of work. Now the American Academy of Pediatrics is calling for the federal government to revise the way chemicals are tested and managed nationwide. They say the government needs to make the health of children and pregnant women a priority. I've got quite a few items here. Erica Schrader is staff scientist for Washington Toxics well Coalition, a nonprofit advocacy organization. She showed a variety of products that expose kids to chemicals. Your standard rubber ducky is actually not made of rubber, it's made of PVC. Dr. Sathya Naraina had tips for parents from the obvious, not smoking around kids, to some other tips. Properly ventilate your home, make sure you have um, check for carbon monoxide as well as radon within the home. There are very, very small little steps that you can take. Steps that can give children a healthier start. Experts say replacing processed foods with fresh fruit and vegetables is another good way to reduce kids' exposure to chemicals. I'm Jean Anderson for King 5 Children's Health Link, linking you to better health. We have links that can help parents sort through all the information on safer products. Visit our website, king5.com, and click on Health Link. The Green Festival gets underway this weekend.